Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of 7 Days to Die. Uh, as you can see we've woken up on day 2. Um, it's nearly going to be 4am so it's going to get a lot lighter. Um, while we wait before we go the first thing we have to do this morning is we definitely have to go to the trader. We need to sell a couple of things because we are starving. Um, I actually ate some through the night we had a couple of zombies come by I managed to kill them and we had some sham sandwiches so I actually ate a couple of them they're not actually too bad I think they give you 15 fullness and you just have food poisoning for 19 seconds so through the night eating them isn't too bad um, I don't know if it affects your health but it does affect your stamina, so just eating them through the night isn't too bad if you're not doing very much. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of work on the base through the night. I've been hitting the wood. You get a lot of wood from taking apart and reinforcing your base. Um, so we've put wood frames along each side. So if we need to come out and look around the base if there's any zombies wandering around in the middle of the night we can come out and just see what's going on and here we go it's morning absolutely beautiful so yeah so let's go and take a look and see what i have done inside the base with the wood i managed to collect from taking the outside apart so as you can see we've put started work on the second floor rebuilding up the second floor we've put a hatch leading up to our upstairs area some steps coming down so that is near enough done i just got to get more wood how much wood do i have 90. so we just got to get more wood we have our medical supplies in here uh food situation isn't very good. What have I got here? That's just my storage. Oh, and off one of the zombies I also found a iron shovel. So that is very good. Um, our food situation isn't very good. We have absolutely nothing. But the first place we need to head to this morning is to the trader. So once we get to the trader, we can have a look, see how much it'll be to maybe buy some food. Um, see then if we can get maybe some jars going just have a look and see what we can sell we don't have much on us though at the minute so hopefully there'll be a few things we can pinch in the traders that we can sell back to him and be a little bit crafty but we, I want to have a look at that car up there I do want to go around exploring I want to go up on this hill see if I can see a town over the mountain but what we really need to do is try and get um, food doing this episode. I want to start doing a farm. Maybe put a farm down here somewhere in this little corner and get a farm going but to do that I need to find um, a garden hoe to do that. So we're blocked off at all angles and another thing I really need to do is get these stones. Start taking these stones apart, collect some of them berries down there as well because they're quite good. Um, to eat as well in small amounts just to keep you going because meat is very scarce in alpha 16 i don't think i've seen one animal so far since being here so we really need to get going so i think we will head with the trader over that direction let's have a look yes there's a the trader so we need to get there get that quest off the top corner of our screen and have a look around we need to collect some of this clay also so I can start making cobblestone to make flagstone frames so we can start beefing up our base a little bit ready for day 7 I don't think there's going to be um, day 7 horde is going to be much of a challenge but we'll see we also got to carry on taking this apart which I can do off camera anyway during the night. So yeah, we've also got to take this tree down as well. So we may do that now before we leave. <laughs> so let's get down, let's have a look. Use 
my stairs, that's why I put them there for. And um, we put a hatch on our little escape. So we can get down. There we go. Okay, which way did I use to get out? This way. We leave that open. At the end of the last episode, when I finished recording, I was coming back from the water and there was one of them farmer zombies with um, a skull just standing up on the porch, just by the doorway, having a look in, probably having a look to see what he could pinch. So we managed to kill him. I think he was the one we had the um, shovel off, I think. We'll just get a little bit more wood while we do, in case we need to craft any tools as we go. So yeah, the last episode I know was quite long and quite grindy, so I've got a timer going at the minute so I can time each episode, because it took so long to sort my first episode out. I was there all day. I was aiming to have it up in public by 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. but it just took so long to try and edit it I could only seem to edit one bit of the grinding out which I still don't think YouTube has even edited yet it did say I could put it public and it would just edit when it was ready then but so yeah, editing is a really big problem. I need to find a better way of editing, I think. Because YouTube only seems to let me do one part of the video. Which isn't very good if you're doing a lot of grinding that's taking forever. But we'll work it all out. So this episode I may do a little cut here and there. Especially when my parrot is shouting in the background. I hope you can't hear her too loud. Um... But we're doing well. We're not doing too bad. We're starving. So let's see. Actually, while we're here and picking these up, let's see if we can eat. What will these do? 2% fullness, which isn't a lot. Snowberries can easily be mistaken for blueberries, but are only borderline edible. Okay. Doesn't really say what they do. Let's try and eat a couple and see what happens. You are gaining health from the food you have eaten. Oh, and while I'm here as well, um, we levelled up a couple of times. I levelled up during the night, so we have a couple of points to spend. So we're definitely going to spend on weapon smithing, tool smithing, and where is the T Rex one? There it is. Can we buy that? Yes, we can. Let's buy that straight away. Construction tools has gone up a lot. Um, with all the wood I was collecting from the roof of the base. So, let's see. Survivor. Oh, we can get Survivor and the Carmel as well. So, let's get them. Because they help a lot. Not at the early stages, but the higher up you go, go with the Survivor and the Carmel, the better it is. So, let's collect a few more of these. Because we are going to need all the food we can get. i got a feeling that obviously when we find a town we can get a couple of bits of food from looting in a town. But at the minute we are just going to have to try and find as much as we can to make a farm. So we can get most of our food from there because animals since Alpha 16 are not very common. Our best bet is to just hope we a wolf stumbles upon our base so we can kill the wolf because they give quite a bit of meat that lasts not too long but will just help us out to get it back, get our fullness back up a little bit. So we're going to hit some rocks. We need to go, we need to find a town. Once we go to the trader we're going to go then and have a look around 
Let's see if we can see a town anyway. Because once we find a town, we can get some leather. We can get some leather from a car as well, so we can Ooh. try and get a forge going. And see if that'll, that'll help us a lot more as well when making tools. What's that up there? Do you see that? Tree? Maybe? Probably a tree. So get a bit more stone. We need to do a lot of collecting as well of wood. How much have we got? 192, that's okay. Right, so where is the trader? Over this way. Did I get that bag? Yes. The trader is this way. I know I've seen the trader always has a farm. That you can pick up a few bits and pieces, but I'm sure when I had a quick glance at the trader, um, let's see if we can make a couple of these because our weapons should have gone up by now. What is our level on the stone axe? 50, that's better. I can use a zombie. There she is. Is there any more? Yeah, there's a couple more. They seem to be ignoring me. For the most part. Another bird's nest. Yeah, my food during the night wasn't too bad. Um, one of the zombies that did happen to come outside the base had two cans of food. I ate one and then accidentally scrapped the other one as I went to eat it. So that was a bit disappointing. But not too bad. What else did we pick up? Golden rod. Oh, uh, pick up a couple of golden rod. I never really use them. I don't know why. I know you can make tea. Um, the most stuff I like, if I can find a desert nearby, that would be a really big help because I can get some yucca. Yucca is very good for filling you up, keeping you going on food. Because there's a very good chance we're going to starve to death before a zombie gets us. So let's keep heading this way to the trader. How much wood we got? 192. So not too bad. In the early stages of the game, I'm like a magpie, constantly foraging and collecting wood, even though I may have about a thousand wood in my inventory. Right, let's get into this trader before we cause too much, draw too much attention to ourselves. Loads of stone up here. Is he open yet? He should be. Where's the door? Trader Jones is now open. Yay! Right on time. But how to get in? Where's this? Did I run past the door? Probably. And oh, boom! I want that. Bird's nest. Oh, let's just kill her. Otherwise, she's gonna give us some problems. I want um, bird's nest. Nothing on her. Okay. Good bit of eggs. Good bit of feathers. I really need more jars because when I do something, boiled eggs are quite handy to make what are these? Blueberries! Yes! We need some of them. And I know exactly what I'm going to do as well once I pick them up. Because this soil is fertilised. So we're going to get a lot back. What are they? Blue, 
Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. Right, blueberries. Can we make seeds? Blueberry seeds, how many should we make? Uh let's do ten. Because we are starving. So while we're waiting for them, let's eat a couple of these. What will these do? Wellness what fullness one. Hydration one. Blueberries can be eaten used to make pies or tuned into blueberry seeds. Okay. Well they're not gonna get our fullness up a lot. But let's plant these down. Why would they go back down? Oh, we're not allowed to plant. Why not? No. Right, we have a workbench. Is it on your loop? Oh, chem station. Can we? Yeah, we can't use it. Okay, it's a working one. Okay. Um, let's have a nose. Finishing that. So can we sell them? Not a lot. Okay, there doesn't seem to be a lot in here either. Is that building me? Rubbish bag. Moldy bread. Bin. What's that? I'll have you a seed. I know I need to watch for mines as well. Because that would just be my luck. Running into a mine. Oh, it's destroyed. That's a shame, I could have done with that. Um, so that's where the trader is. We want to have a look around a bit more. Forge, please tell me your work, you do. Nice, what do we need for an anvil? Clay and iron. So another reason why we need clay. Can we hit these? Nope. What are these? Vending machines. We need to see if we can sell a couple of things and buy food as well. So what's up here then? I really hope the store's unlocked. It is. Let's have a look. Right, we have a workbench. Is there any mines? No, not as far as I can see at the minute. What is in here? No. Yes, it is a working one. Okay, that's handy to know that that's right on our doorstep. Anything under the stairs? Nope. Nothing in the lockers. We need some clothes as well. Anything up here? Nope. Okay, let's have a look upstairs. <gasps> this food situation is grim. Time to treat the mouldy bread. Can we eat the food poisoning? Effect 60%. Eat at your own risk. Can be used to craft antibiotics and chemistry station. Let's just eat a few more of these. I'm not going to risk that. I always used to throw the sham sandwiches away. But after trying it out last night, eating a couple of them, and seeing it's something like 15 fullness, and 19 seconds of losing um, stamina, that's not too bad. They're okay in a pinch. I feel quite bad sitting here drinking coffee while my character is starving but then again we've got plenty of drink we're not worried about drink at all I could go and cook those eggs but then we lose the glasses so as long as I find a town and I can make glass jars then it's not too bad cheers there's nothing here to loot is there so let's carry on having a look up here Is there <gasps> any mines? Why are you boiling? 
Um, let's take the hood off. We don't need the hood, and we don't need the top. So let's take them off. Oh, don't run. Don't run in case you run into a mine. Zombie up there. Okay, let's have a look up here. Nothing there. What is the point? Um, oh, we can go down here. Is there any mines? There's not going to be anything around there, is there? I don't think. But then again, if I don't have a look, it'll bug me. Another zombie. that bin to me, yes. Look at that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go and see the trader. Oh, it's rubbish bag. But did I get that? Yes. And nothing else. Is there anything around this corner? Nope. Let's have a look at one of these. Oh, that's where we can sell stuff. Okay. We don't need that at the minute. How do I get out of it? Exit. I can't get out of it. Um, this machine, tins of food, 80, we get four of the chicken soup for 80, so that's not too bad, bottled water, beer, and that's it, is it? Yep. Okay, here's the door to the trader, don't you? So I doubt very much we're going to have enough money to buy anything today. Anything you here I can pinch. Okay. Everything's for sale, even to an idiot like you. Thank you very much. Right. Salt. 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 Lead. Do we need lead at the minute? What's lead used for? Source for forger can be used to make bullet tips in the forge. We don't need them at the minute. So, oh, we can only sell that amount anyway. Nitrate powder. Probably people probably. Oh, I can't sell nitrate powder. Okay. I thought you could. Uh, can I sell the mold bread? Nope. Glue. Is glue for sale? Seven each. Um, I think I got a couple of glue, but I do want to keep hold of it. Can I sell clothes? No. Nope. What about the eggs? Four piece? Yeah, we'll sell them. We got some eggs. Okay, well, there's nothing we really Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> I would try Shamway. I want some of the sham sandwiches. They are very handy. And they were my pet here before, every time I killed a zombie. And they just had sandwiches. I used to hate it. Well, there's nothing much there. We had, we had these blueberries that we need to farm. Um, okay. Not bad. A couple more zombies hanging around. I should have probably got, killed them from up top. Have you got anything nice on you? Am I wasting my arrows? I probably am. Let's have a look. Nothing. Ooh. I can't even hit anything around here. Nope. Oh. What about this car? I can't. Take them apart, I don't mind. Probably gonna be full then and have to make a drop off. Back to the house before we go and have a look around. 
nothing in the traders at all. Okay, where's the house up there? Okay, do we have any room? Oh, we have a bit of room. We could go and have a nose around. Let's pick up some more of these. Definitely need to keep them seeds on us. I could plant them as they are in the ground, but I think they're going to take too long. I really don't want to just rely on them. Come on. Getting a bit too close, lovely. Oh, tuna and sandwiches. Lovely, I'm not too worried now. Still gonna pick up these though. So we may survive another night. She was more help than the trader was. Here's another one. Here's a twitchy one. You better have something good on you. Going downhill is uphill backwards is a very good. After the zombies more, I think. So I got most of my good stuff from them. Boots. Oh, we're we'll wearing. Mm -mm. Scrap them. Okay. Keep going. We have a look. We could call call over to that campsite um, before we end the video. That may be a good stopping point because I definitely need to keep an eye on how long my videos are getting. Let's pop in here quick. Empty some of this stuff off. <laughs> stuff in here. Cotton, snowberries. Let's eat one of them. What's that? Fullness? Five. Okay. Food chest. Mm, let's store some of them feathers as well. How many arrows do we have? We have 87. So if I store them in there, then make a few more arrows from these. Why is it telling me? Oh, I got more arrows. Oh, never mind. Um, let's make. How many have we got? 87. Let's make 100. Okay. Craft. That's took our stone down a hell of a lot again. Never mind. Okay, let's store these feathers in here then. Not doing too bad on feathers. Okay, let's go back down. Anything else we can store? Nope. What's drink look like before we head out? Drink is really low as well. Okay. I can hear someone wandering around. Half of them in there. <laughs> Who is wandering around? This is why these are handy. 
around the side of the house. So I'm gonna keep going up and down, even just nose outside. He's climbing a tree. Get you. See, that was right on his head, and they didn't even touch him. That's what I'm saying about the arrows. Leveled up! Is he dead? I think so. One more for luck. Okay. I'm going to loot him, and then we'll head back on our way. Let's close this. I can't remember where I killed him now. Out here. Where was he? I know he was pretty close to the house. Is that you? Nothing. Okay. So, what we could do, we could go over to the campsite that's over here. Or. Did I get that? Nope. Could go over to that campsite. Or we could head up there. Put the jars on me. I should have put them seeds. In the box as well. Okay, let's put that in there and put them there. Actually put the jars there as well. Oh. Not with water. My drinking water. Because we just drop. Um, when we die, we drop backpack. So I want the most important stuff on my tool belt. Yes, twenty. Um, wish we have a wander. I've got a big feeling that that's another tree down up there. Going by the tower bits going up. Because it looks pretty much the same as that one over there. But I'm not sure. Um, I think our best bet is let's have a little quick run over here. And have a look at that car that's up on the hill. And then I think I'll call this video a day then. And start on episode 3. Where's that car up there? Let's go and have a look up here. Because I definitely want to go up over these hills and have a look. There's got to be a town close by. You might be able stamina. Athletics level 8. Nope, it's just an empty car. Let's have a quick look up here. Rubbish bin. Paper. I'm going to try and leave some of the scavenging in as much as I can. Some of the loot in. Bad view. You have snow biome all around. That definitely looks like some sort of factory up there. You have a rubbish bag over here. Ah, oh, potato seeds. Right, I need a garden hoe. That is the one thing I want. That's the only thing I want, and I'll be very happy. Okay, so I think I'm going to call this video here. I can hear a zombie, but I don't know where he is. So I'm going to call this video here. And make a start on episode 3. So I hope you enjoyed. I didn't know we didn't do very much. We went to the trader. We had a little nose around. So our next port of call is to go up on these hills. 
and have a look what's on the other side to see if we can see a town. If not, then we're going to head over to the campsite that's over here and go and have a look to see where that building is up on there and see if we can see any more towns. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, uh, put some comments. Um, I'll try and answer the comments um, as much as I can. And I shall see you again next time for episode 3. So I'm looking that bag quick. Empty. That's the one we just done. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Hmm. <sighs>